Welcome back, Canonites. Let me start by apologizing for the delay in this video. Right after I got Envoy out, my computer's hard drive crashed and I only got it working again this past Saturday. Technically Sunday, but semantics. Anyway, today we're looking at Sergeant Major Avery Jr. Johnson, the latest leader to grace Halo Wars 2. Born in the Chicago Industrial Zone on Earth and raised by his grandmother, Avery Johnson joined the Marines when he turned 19 and never looked back. At some point, he would join the Orion Project, later retroactively titled the Spartan 1 Program. Johnson stayed with the program until its formal disbandment in 2506, after which he took part in Operation Trebuchet, an anti-insurrectionist program spanning multiple systems and lasting four years. Johnson was present at the start of the Human Covenant War, being the first human to kill a member of the Covenant, and survived to see it end when the Prophet of Truth was killed on the Ark in 2552. Sadly, Johnson would give his life to help activate a halo ring above the Ark and wipe out the all-consuming parasite known as the Flood. For a more in-depth look at Johnson and his history, check out my video on him, link on screen and in the description. In Halo Wars 2, Johnson returns from the grave, in a non-canon sense of course, to lead troops into battle once again. Like any good leader, he leads by example, charging against the enemy headfirst in his Runting Yggdrasil Mark 1J ADS. This mech suit, known as the Green Machine, is fitted with an array of miniguns and can be upgraded for a Gauss chain gun and smart missile pod. The suit carries a number of repair beacon pods which Johnson can use to repair mechs and heal troops. His suit also has fast regen energy shields. Along with his Green Machine, Johnson brings other UNSC mechs to the battlefield. The first is the familiar Mark 9 ADS or Mantis. This mech takes the place of the Warthog in Johnson's arsenal, being equipped with a chain gun and missile launcher and can be upgraded to include shields. The weapons can also be further upgraded to include Gauss weaponry and a network targeting laser. To aid in the fight against the Banished, Isabel has used the Spirit of Fire to manufacture modified mantises, although they lack the neural interface controls present in the modern model. The final new unit is the Colossus, a massive mech that towers over the battlefield. Designed by the Materials Group in conjunction with Hannibal Weapon Systems for the UNSC Army, Isabel managed to retain manufacturing templates for this mech, allowing her to put the Spirit of Fire's resources to use in constructing them. The Colossus is a slow but powerful unit, featuring a long-range railgun and an autocannon. It can also use a stop ability to send out a devastating shockwave. Interestingly, the Colossus looks like it shares more than a passing resemblance to the Mark II ADS or the Giant Mantis seen in the Halo 4 map Adrift. Grimm has confirmed that while they are not the same mech, there is something of a connection. To bolster this mech army, Johnson can call in Sage Turrets, Bunker Drops, EMP Mac Blasts, and a Mech Overcharge. With these at his disposal, Johnson is truly a threat on the battlefield. Now, allow me to inject a little bit of opinion into the matter. As cool as all this is, it doesn't really fit Johnson as a character. Johnson, ideally, would be more of a troop leader focusing on unique ground units, possibly different types of sniper units given his status as a sniper in Halo CE and 2, and in the fiction. I've mentioned in at least one older video that the Stanchion Gauss rifle used by the Halo Wars 2 snipers was first seen being used by Johnson in the Halo graphic novel. A better mech leader, in my opinion, would have been Ghost from Halo Legends, who canonically piloted the Runting Yggdrasil Mark I ADS prototype. Of course, realistically, he wouldn't have been as popular as Johnson, and Johnson, if he were given a ground unit focus, would have been a little too similar to Sergeant Forge. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at Sergeant Johnson in Halo Wars 2. Thank you for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you.